Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, my name is Marley. I am 22. I live here in Ottawa, Canada and I just make videos about everything. Like I do it all on this channel, lifestyle, vlogs, home decor, moving. I move a lot so I already have like two moving vlogs or two moving videos here on my channel in, in the last like year or so. And this is not the last time I'm gonna be moving, so like if you like the moving vlogs and like home decor and stuff, you guys are really gonna like my channel, so make sure you guys subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. We're gonna I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday like spring summer makeup, like very minimalistic. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I I did my little hair. I did get my hair cut yesterday actually it's very short i still don't know if i'm used to it yet um but i really do like it and he gave me like mini curtain bangs so that's been really fun to play around with you'll see me struggle with the bangs in this video because this was my first time ever styling my hair this short with bangs so it's gonna get some time getting used to but i really like it it's so much more like lightweight and not as thick as it was before because if you guys knew like i had really long thick curly hair i mean i still have curly hair but like i straightened it obviously but um i thought i would just get ready with you guys hang out with you guys this morning and yeah so if you are interested in seeing how i did my everyday makeup and this little hair look then just keep on watching wow it's a big difference from what i looked like on that first clip but so I'm going to start with my makeup and I'm just going to prep my face before I do that and I'm going to go in with my favorite face oil from Monet, their Rejuvenique oil and I just feel like my makeup applies better when it has this oil on and it just makes it a lot more glowy. I'm going to go in with my little, what is this, lip? Lip balm from Fresh. The mango tastes so good and smells delicious. Okay, so this is my everyday little makeup. Um, obviously because we're not really doing anything, I'm not really going out, I just go to work. But I do like to put a little bit of makeup on, but it's very minimalistic. Um, takes me like maybe 15 minutes or 10 minutes. Um, not really a full face, just a little bit of concealer just to cover up any like acne or dark circles. So I'm going to show you guys my really minimalistic COVID everyday makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and I use start with concealer. I use the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and I'm in the color Short Bread. So I always put it in the corner and a little outer. And this technique just makes your face look a lot more lifted. So yeah, I don't use any foundation. I just use concealer to conceal and correct. And when I use powder and everything, it blends really nicely together. I'm also going to turn on my straightener so it heats up. concealer pretty much matches like my skin tone it's not really a brightening this is just to conceal any like imperfection and dark circles so now when I feel like that is all blended and covered to how I like it I'll go in with the which one is this the Maybelline New York instant age rewind control no instant age rewind corrector like the best drugstore concealer this is i've been using this concealer for like oh my gosh five years probably the best concealer out there in my opinion and this is what i use to brighten up the the eye area and like use it as like a highlighter Okay, I 
now that I find that it's all blended out, I will go ahead and use my powder. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, and I am in the color 120 Classic Ivory. This is my favorite drugstore powder. I just really like how it sets my makeup and it doesn't separate. And I just put a light amount all over my face, like all over. Okay, and that's really all I do for powder. Just make sure it's all in there. For blush, I'm gonna use a cream blush as a base. And I'm just gonna be using the make the milk makeup in the shade work. <laughs> Here. And I like to do it like more upwards for that facelift effect. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this out. I feel like the finger is the best for cream blushes. I use a sponge and a blush and a brush, but I feel like it just completely takes it off my face. So I like to use my finger to melt it in my skin. And I like a lot of blush and sometimes a cream blush just isn't it for me but I like to use it as a base and then I'll go in with the Milani um, Lumin Luminesso baked powder brush I like this one because it has a subtle like a really subtle like shimmer to it so it kind of is like a blush and a highlighter so I'll just use a little bit of it but a blush a blush brush from real techniques and I'll do a little bit over top of where I put the cream blush. I like to be very rosy. Like blush is my favorite beauty product. If I like the amount of rosiness, I'll stop. But Very rosy, shimmery, looks really blah, glowy for spring and summer. And then I go ahead and I'm gonna start doing my brows. I am not a brow person, I really don't know how to do brows. So what am I doing here? Um, this is gonna take me a lot of time, and all I do is just like do a quick fill, and that's literally all I do. I am using the what is this? L'Oreal brow stylist definer in the color dark brunette i like it because it's an ultra fine tip so it's really easy to shape my eyebrows Again, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. Like, I don't know if I'm even doing it right. I just see people doing this, and I do find it cleans up the brows a lot better. And I'm just going and using the same concealer that I used earlier. And I'm using this e.l.f. Small Precise brush. And I'm just gonna go and just clean up the brows, make them look a little bit more sharper, more clean. Okay, if I feel like that's good enough, I'll just do that and then I'm gonna blend it out. Using the Real Techniques, the Deluxe Crease Brush, I find this really good for blending out my concealer. So I'll just blend it out, make sure it's looking sharp. That's all I do for brows. Like, see you guys, I'm not that great. Like, I just do quick fill and that's literally all I do. I'm actually just gonna bring it down a little bit more.
that's it. That's all I do for my brows. That's the brow routine, you guys. <laughs> the second last thing is the mascara. You guys, this is the best eyelash, what is it, curler I have ever used in my life. I don't have, like I have bare lashes and they just go straight. And I've used lash curlers before and this has been the best one. It's the Sephora one. Um, don't know the exact name, but it was like $20 and it's just like this really cute little black one. And this makes my lashes so long and up. And it works amazing. Can you guys already see like how much it already lifted my lashes? It's crazy. And I just use the most basic mascara, the Maybelline New York Falsies. This is like the OG of like drugstore mascaras, but I used to hate this when I didn't have this curler. I feel like this one was so, it couldn't get my lashes like really long, but with this curler, this mascara makes my eyelashes so long. I freaking love it. for me and then the last thing that I do is lips and I just go in with this um, this is actually a Korean brand my friend got it for me um, it's called hints I am not sure where she got it and it's like the perfect color to match my natural lip color just a little bit more vivid you can see that I'll go in with my finger and then I'll just I don't know, blend it I guess. And then I like to put on a gloss topping. <laughs> and I really like this gloss. This one is from Maybelline New York. It's the Lifter Gloss. It has um, hyaluronic acid in it, so it kind of makes their lips a little bit plump. Um, not that I need it. My lips are naturally pretty plump, but I still like how shimmery it is. And that's literally all I do for my everyday makeup. Um, just really rosy, glowy, natural for every day. So now that my makeup is done, we're gonna move on to hair. And yesterday I got a haircut and I haven't revealed it to you guys yet. So we're gonna reveal it to you, it's very short a lot shorter than I am used to. If you guys know, I had pretty long hair. So, I got it done yesterday. Sorry, it looks kind of crazy right now, but um, I'm gonna straighten it. I don't really, I got bangs. I got like curtain bangs, kind of. And then I got layers, so I don't really know how to style it yet. So we're gonna play around with that right now. Look how short it is. Can you guys remember, like it was like past my boot. <laughs> it was quite long. So, I'm not used to this at all yet, but as you can see, he did cut some bags, bangs, not bags. He did cut some bangs, got a little bit of layers going on, but I slept with a ponytail, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick little straighten. So I'm just going to part my hair. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, it's so short. Does it suit me though? Do you guys think it suits me? I've never had my hair this short before, so I don't even know. So I like to straighten my hair and then like kind of curl it at the end. I feel like it gives that like blowout effect and it makes your ends just look a lot more healthy when they're like curled in. <laughs> So we're back. 
back. <laughs> I have straightened the hair and I left my bangs so I don't touch them so I can straighten them on camera for you guys. These are the bangs. First, I'm just going to smooth them out, like just straighten them and smooth them out first before we do any of the other things. I like to again do the same thing as I was doing with the other parts of my hair. I like to curl out or curl inwards, in towards my face for my bangs to give them a little bit more of that like face framing effect. I will go ahead and I'll just play with them, plump them out. But I'll just go back in and I'll take like a little piece of bang piece that I have right here and I'm gonna brush them up like this and I'm gonna go ahead with my straightener and then I'm just going to straighten and then curl away from my face to kind of give it that fall you see that kind of effect and then have it hanging down like this It's gonna take some time getting used to it. I'm gonna practice like styling the bangs or styling them in a way that makes them look a little more like bangs. But yeah, just like that. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Okay, now for the side. my little bangs hanging down to frame. Mm. This is kind of cute, half up, half down. It looks cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. What do you guys think? This is a cute like little will do the last thing would be the outfit so I'm gonna go ahead and pick an outfit I don't have an outfit planned and I'm not really going anywhere today except for I'm going to work later on today so that's not for like another four hours um, we're gonna go pick out a outfit and I'm gonna be back and show you guys the outfit that I have picked it's probably gonna take me like three hours but I'll be back <laughs> and found an outfit to wear I'll show you guys just a very casual, comfy, laid back outfit just because I'm just gonna be home and busting to work in this, so not really trying to look cute. Um, but I put on these H, wait, are they H&M? Yeah, H&M jeans. They're like a straight leg and they're high waisted. Looks cute. And then I paired it with this really comfortable waffle knit um, long sleeve shirt that I got from American Eagle. And yeah. And the last thing that I do to make an outfit complete is jewelry, obviously. And I got these really cute earrings from H&M. I really like cheap little earrings. I really don't care. So the ones I'm going to be wearing today are these like, these smaller looking ones that look like little bubbles, like the mini thinner croissant looking ones. And then just a little thin hoop for the second. Oh, watch me struggle for like 10 minutes to put this in. Alright, I'm having a real hard time finding it. So, I think this is it for my little look today. Just got the minimalistic um, jewelry. I don't wear bracelets and yeah. And that's literally getting ready with me today. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me get ready today. I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys, getting ready for my day. It was very calming and relaxing and 
doing my makeup and getting ready is like my therapy session in the mornings it just makes me very relaxed and calm i freaking love you guys you guys mean the absolute world to me i wish i could hug every single 339 of you but anyways thank you guys so much for clicking on this video make sure to subscribe follow me on instagram for more daily content and like more real time because i post a lot more there than i do on here but i'm trying to get better at that anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye